Did you know that there are three profit centers or three ways that a dealership makes money on a transaction? Well, now you know. The first thing is the front end, which includes the vehicle sales price, the trade-in if you have one, and any addendums that were added to the vehicle, like VIN etching or window tint. The second is the back end, which includes any financing or any back end products like warranty or gap insurance. Number three is aftermarket products or any accessories you add to your vehicle after the fact. The reality is most people shop for just the vehicle price or maybe do a little bit of bank financing before they walk into a dealership. There's a lot of things that you should do your research on. I'll give them all to you. So number one is the vehicle sales price. Get multiple quotes from multiple dealerships before you just buy the first vehicle. If you're trading in a vehicle, make sure you shop your vehicle around to three different either dealerships or there are plenty of wholesale buyers like CarMax or Car Carvana that will give you a quote on your trade-in. Number three, ask what products they added to the vehicle after it got to the dealership from the manufacturer. Things like VIN etching, window tint. Find out what all was put on the vehicle so you can shop those individually through Google. Just ask Google, what's the average price that a dealership pays for these products? And it'll give you a rough estimated cost. For back-end products, if you're financing a vehicle, get pre-approved with your credit union or a local bank before you walk into a dealership and accept their financing. If you're looking at getting an extended warranty or even gap insurance, these other banks that you go to, your credit union, they will offer those products at a way discounted price. Lastly, aftermarket products, you can typically shop those around. before. Once you're done with the transaction, tell them you'll come back for aftermarket products and then find out what it costs online for somebody else to do it and then take that quote to the dealership and ask their aftermarket department if they can match the price or do something competitive. Look, I'm not anti-dealership. In fact, I worked for one for eight years. All I'm saying is if you go in clueless, you're going to take it, be taken advantage of. And you're going to spend a lot more money than you should. Just do your due diligence and research before you walk into a dealership.